Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different ways that you can add paragraphs inside of Photoshop. So this is really useful if you're creating an ebook or a brochure or a catalog or a magazine or something of that nature where you need to have a lot of text on the page. So let's go ahead and we have an image here that we can work on. We can click on the type tool and you know that if you click, you can start typing directly inside of Photoshop. So we could type a little bit and then hit our enter key and we can um, keep typing whatever we want. We can also copy and paste. So if we have any text document from say a Word document, Microsoft Word, we can copy that text and bring it in here with the normal uh, control or command C and control or command V to copy and paste that information in. Now, before we get started, I do want to go ahead and say, let me delete out this. Well, let's leave that layer layer there. Go to the character panel and we'll click on character. I've already changed these, but I wanted to show you if you've been following along and you came into this character panel and adjusted these numbers, uh, it might mess up the information when you begin typing. So go ahead and set everything back to regular. I'm doing an eight point at this point. Um, auto zero zero one hundred percent one hundred percent zero make sure that all those settings are set back to their defaults that ways when I show you this it doesn't look skewed uh, the first time I tried it, it did so I just want to show you that right now uh, if you're following along go ahead and change those numbers back but we're gonna delete this text layer and something else that you can do with the tight tool is you can click and drag and it's actually going to drag out a box for us of type that we can put in here. So this is really great because now what happens is when we begin typing, once it reach, reaches the end of this box, it'll go to the next line. So we've told Photoshop exactly how big we want this type to be. And this is a great way of working, especially if you're doing like a magazine or web design where you know you only have a limited area to type into, you can build out a uh, selection box and put your type in there and fill that in. Now, I don't have anything to copy and paste in here to show you a paragraph. However, Photoshop does have a feature to automatically generate text for us. So if you go to the top and you see type, at the bottom it says paste lorem ipsum. Lorem ipsum is commonly used in web design as filler text. All it is is it's a bunch of Latin from some, um, some type of document that they've pulled in and it's commonly used around the web that puts in text for you and because it's in Latin and not something that most people normally read and speak in, it, it doesn't really matter what it says and it just looks enough like words and sentences for us to get an idea of what it's going to look like, but we don't have to focus on what's actually being written. So if, if you want to see how paragraphs or text would look on your page, but you don't have anything to put in there, just go ahead and click on the Paste Lorem Ipsum button and it will fill that in for you. Now, depending on how long my document is it's going to show how much of there is now there's a, a ton of lorem itsum that it'll keep populating here but you can see that I can come in here and edit this uh, text document and get some paragraphs right away and see how that's going to look inside of Photoshop this is a great way to work and one of the first tools that you can use to get that information now if we go to the type tool and we open up our characters panel here we have the ability to make all those adjustments that we looked at before and get the spacing right the text right the font right uh, the color and everything that we want to make sure that it looks good on the page so there I just changed that color I boosted up the tracking a little bit so the letters are a little sp spread more apart and looks a little better for us on the eyes and you can come in and start adjusting that information now under the character panel there's also the paragraph panel and if I click on that or you go to the top and click window and then go to paragraph it'll bring up this panel and you have a couple options for paragraphs here so we can align to the left align center or line to the right and you can re if you remember this is based on that bounding box that we created with the type tool 
We can also uh, do any type of uh, justifications. So this is what you would see in a magazine where it's going to justify from left to right, and this is justified to the left, and fill in any spaces so that it's even on both sides. This is what books look like where you see nice even sides, and then it's filling out spaces so that it looks good. And then we can make those adjustments. So if you look at left justified versus left aligned, you can see the differences there. And then we can do center just uh, center aligned or center justified or right aligned and right justified or a full justification. So you can make those changes here. We can also do indentations. So if we wanted to come to this uh, first letter of the lorem ipsum and then we just want to go ahead and indent, indent this out a little bit, we can do that. So you can do it. Uh, the whole line can be indented from the left. The whole line can be indented from the right, or you can indent just the first line. So that's the second one down here. If I move that over, you'll see that it's indenting that first line. And then you can also see that it can create some spacing um, from the top or from the bottom also with this option. So add space before the paragraph and add space after the paragraph. We don't have any extra room to add in any space, so we're not going to have that here. And then we also have a hyphenate uh, option that will automatically hyphenate when it gets to the end if so, this word's continuing on, extra citation. Uh, it put the hyphen in for us, showing that the word continues. You can turn that on and off. So that gives you some options for adjusting your paragraphs. Again, you can click and drag with the type tool to define a specific area that you want to type into. And then you can also go to the top, click on type and paste lorem ipsum. And that will give you a bunch of uh, pre-made text that you can put in your document just to see what it's going to look like while you're designing and you're waiting for the final copy to arrive.